here is one type of paper bark tree but over here right next to it is a completely different type talking about the um bark that is and I'll break some off don't worry it won't kill it it's a pretty tough plant but uh, I'll take some off we'll have a closer look at the different structures of them and how that will affect how you're going to make your fire uh, these are the two different types of paper bark I've got this is the one this is like the one I've been using in a lot of my videos so far and here is a very different type of paper bark you see it's pr like straw almost it's yeah it's already pretty almost a bird's nest in itself now this one if you step using this type it has in between the layers of just flat paper bark which you know, aren't the best for catching the spark too it's got these fine strips get out some now where you can see that so you use these fine strips you tear them off make yourself a bundle doing this all one handed so bear with me and yeah just like that and you just tear all of them off and make your bird's nest out of that though it is very there's a lot of gap air between all of it so you, it can take a while to get a spark to actually land in it but if you knot it up enough get it to a point where you can get sparks to land in it instead of going through it you'll be right which you know you can just have a good base to it out of the more of the paper bark and try and get a lot as low down to it as possible with it still keeping the air flow adequate and just keep hitting press it down just keep hitting that with sparks it'll catch this on the other the hand doesn't seem to have much in the way of that layer but on the plus side that's pretty much the same layer as what this is and you can see it doesn't really break up it's just one big long big layer but you take them and you scrunch them up and you roll them around in your hand and it breaks it all up and then it forms a nice bundle As you can see, it is doing damage to the tom, this false edge on the front. But this was this is a free lump of wood. It doesn't really matter that it's busting it up. This one gets destroyed, I'll just go get another one. So it's a little hard to get because I'm not actually out in the bush, I'm in a park that offers wood fired barbecues as a facility. That would look pretty weird to a lot of the people around here who are used to use an axe or use a knife. <laughs> now it's in all that way. Trick. Not <laughs> this is a method I sometimes use that can be very abusive to a blade. But this is the paratrooper. It cost thirty me thirty-two bucks. Not worried if I damage it, although this isn't exactly the safest method. Put it in and I with it as a lever and just pop the whole thing off so I don't have to baton the whole way if it was thinner and harder it, there's a good chance you could snap it off which and is a, has a good potential for injury having that blade snap oh well 
why I do it, I'm not recommending other people copy me. Legal reasons. This is just the way I do it. Now, always make sure that when you miss, at worst I might elbow myself in the groin. Much better than getting this in the shin, I can tell you. Alright, there's my bird's nest. That is the second type of paper bark that I haven't been using in previous videos. And I've got the other type of paper bark kind of making a teepee of kindling around it. You'd do the same thing if you had your flash tinder and then had this on top of it. If you really just wanted to make sure it would go off in one one easy spark. Oh, uh, now I'm... Oh, uh, now it's falling down. Now no, I'm touching it. Oh, well. Can't really videotape this one-handed while using the hot mill and a ferrocene rod. Oh well. Pop my stump over here. Can you see that? Sort of. Oh. Having a lot of trouble actually connecting the steel to the ferrocium rod was half my problem. On account of it's, this is such a small one, it kept rubbing on that that part of the alt-nil and not the blade. Oh well, how do I get going with this kindling? Mmm, plank cooked steak. Yummy. No utensils, just like in the fire on a log. Got a thing, uh, just an entree pack in there. The re tore up the rest of the steak and threw it in there. Just, just wanted to cook it on the plank till it was like medium rare, just to get a little bit of that wood flavour into it. I always love that flavour. Oh, see us. Mm. Pasta one's better. Could do with uh, some pimp paste. Maybe some jalapenos. Yeah. And for anyone who's wondering what's missing out of this log, that's all I used to cook with. And that did my whole meal.